fishing during the heat of the summer uh, was often referred as fishing during the summer doldrums. But we've also learned a lot more about how to fish more successfully, effectively in the summer months. And uh, often that means going back to food sources, fishing food sources that are available, because by midsummer on many, many trout lakes, the majority of aquatic insect hatches, the chronomids, the mayflies, damselflies, and dragonflies, they've, they've, they're completed. Because you have to remember that all of these aquatic insect hatches, their life cycle is driven by gradually warming water temperatures. And as those water temperatures rise, the different hatches occur. And by midsummer, we've often plateaued out and finished those hatches. So we go back to fishing uh, food sources that are readily available. And that includes the ever-present shrimp, leeches, and then juvenile dragonfly nymphs. <clears throat> you have to remember that dragonfly nymphs have up to a five-year life cycle. So for up to five years, they're spent in the nymphal stage. They're always readily available. And then there's always zooplankton available and so we're fishing blob patterns in those summer months as well. It often means fishing the deeper water uh, because remember, trout are cold-blooded and they're gonna avoid the shallow shoal areas during the heat of the day. So they're sliding off to the deeper edges of the drop-off and into the deep water zone. So another thing we, we can try during the warm summer months is fishing early in the morning, like get up at five o'clock in the morning and get on the water when you're out camping at the lake. And you'll see fish rising uh, still in the shallow water. That's because the nighttime air temperatures have cooled down the shoal water, the shallow water cooled it down enough for the fish to come in at night or early in the morning to feed. So we can have some great leech fishing dragonfly fishing, shrimp fishing early in the morning. And then finally, uh, on some of our larger lakes in the interior, we have excellent kokanee fishing populations. And those kokanee, uh, because uh, we're, we're in a lake that the water temperatures don't warm up as quickly, they'll still be feeding on chronomids and mayflies and you can have, and blobs, so plankton as well. So you could have some great coking fishing during those warmer summer months as well. So there's some options uh, and pattern suggestions, time of day to fish and the depth zones to be fishing during the warmest part of our fishing season. Mm -hmm.